just one hour to end bad government protests. See what Tunubu did that dismissed the August 1st protest. Finally. Tunubu a bad guy. <laughs> Big bad guy. I, you know, I felt it and I knew it and it really happened. Because I know that Tunubu we do something. That's why I questioned his silence. I questioned Tunubu's silence. I knew it that Tunubu have something, something hidden that he doesn't want to reveal, and he really did it. And he really did it. All right, uh, we won't talk too much, but we we'll just go straight to the content and then let's know what really happened. This is today's news. President Bola Metinobu has been urged by a number of well known figures, including Senate President Godswell Ababio, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives Benjamin Kahlo, and Managing Director of the Niger Delta. Development Commission, NDDC, Dr. Samuel Obuko, to forego the planned protest against economic hardship on August 1st. Tuesday, during an event in Port Harcourt, Ababio announced the launch of the NDDC New Youth Internship Scheme, which aimed to employ 10,000 young people from Niger Delta. This program is a component of a larger endeavor to combat young unemployment and improve skills development. The 10,000 youth involved in the program will receive a monthly stipend of 50,000 Naira. Akbabio said Akbabio emphasized the recent inauguration of five key projects, including roads, bridges, and electricity. Under a presidential mandate highlighting President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's dedication to the development of the Niger Delta. He congratulated the NDDC for fixing portions of the East West Road and gave his words that work on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road project will start concurrently in Lagos and the Niger Delta. The region inclination for growth over disruption is reflected in Ababio's declaration that the Niger Delta is a protest free zone. The proposed nationwide protest by some youth will not take place in the nine states of the Niger Delta, said he. The chairman of the NDDC governing board, Mr. Chiedu Ebie, reaffirmed the Commission's commitment to refining major projects that significantly benefit the area, thanking the National Assembly for clearing the Commission's 2024 budget so quickly, so quickly, ABS stated, we are committed to transforming the Niger Delta in line with the eight-point presidential priority and the NDDC Act of 2000. The NDDC Managing Director, Dr. Samuel Obuku, saw the transition in the region from militant agitation to thoughtful participation. Thank you for listening to today's news. All right, Nigerians, that is the broadcast for today. It's been wonderful having you on this very channel. Um... You see, Akwabio is too strategist. He was the one that brought this idea, and the idea really worked for him. It worked for him, and it worked for Tunubu. I'm telling you. But then, I will tell you that this that they have just brought up right now is still going to be politicized. It is not everyone 
that they were employed for this uh, internship scheme. I'm telling you, because this is Nigeria. Nigeria never does anything without politics. They will politicize it and they will use it to make money for themselves. I tell you, only the vulnerable ones that can afford it, that will be given. Something of this kind has happened before. Back then, 20, uh, 2012, 20, 2013, 2013, they politicized it. And only those who were able to afford it were given. So the same thing is still what will happen because it is Nigeria. Okay, um, let me still hear from you and then let's know what your take and what your opinion actually is on this. Leave your comments below the comments section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload.